Hey, what's going on guys? Travis with Preston and today I'm local in Alexandria, Virginia, highlighting some more black owned restaurants. And today I'm at Milk and Honey, as you can see behind me. I've never been here and uh, also my wife has never been here as well. So we're super excited to try out some of their cheesy grits with their shrimp and the catfish and grits and stuff like that. So hopefully when we go inside, we have a great experience. I'm really excited, like I said, so let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? Travis with Preston and today I'm local trying to explore the DMV area. Uh, so I'm in Alexandria, Virginia um, at another restaurant, which is called Milk and Honey Cafe. Um, so Milk and Honey Cafe is a New Orleans themed Southern brunch that they feature their award-winning shrimp and grits, which my wife actually um, got this morning. Uh, so just to let you guys know, so we have the, like I said, the Chef Sammy's uh, award-winning shrimp and grits, and we, I got the catfish and grits, and we also are going to get a third thing. We always like to get three things. Uh, the chicken sandwich with hot honey lemon pepper sauce. That thing sound banging, right? So, so like I said, we're at the Alexandria location. They have about seven or eight locations. I'm not sure the exact number, but definitely check out their website. Um, so they have a few in Maryland, and I think I saw one in D.C., and they actually, and they actually have a few in um, Virginia. So multiple locations near you. Uh, if you've already been here to either this location or the other ones, let me know. And also, because they serve brunch, which means a lot of mimosas, right? So this particular location does not serve alcohol, but at, currently at the time of this video, three other locations serve alcohol, all right? So I uh, definitely will check out the other ones when, um, whenever I get a chance. Um, right now, we're just waiting on the food. We did pay for it. Uh, the total came out to be $66 roughly. Um, the chicken sandwich one was $15. Uh, the catfish and grits was 20 and the chef Sammy's award-winning shrimp and grits was 22. So, and then we got two uh, fountain drinks right here, uh, which came out to be about $5 um, total. So yeah, like I said, I'm very excited. I heard a lot of good things about milk and honey. Uh, neither one of us been here before. So what do you think? I'm excited because I've never really had this sort of cuisine before, the New Orleans style. Yeah, we've cuisine. never been in New Orleans. Hey, we're coming though. Go ahead. So yeah, I'm excited about tasting their, their flavors. All right. And also, um, one of the things that we noticed about this particular location, like I said, we don't know about all the locations. It's um, very, very limited seating. Um, so right now we kind of found like pretty much the only table in here. And then they have a lot of bar stool seating. Uh, not say a lot, but they have a few bar stools that you can sit and kind of just eat and, um, you know, just hang out, I guess. Uh, this one's in the shopping plaza. But yeah, like I said, at least it's clean. It looks very nice. It looks very uh, straight to the point when you first come in. Um, they got a big carton of milk milk and they have a big painting of a jar of uh, honey so you can definitely know what you're getting when you come in and they're cooking right on the opposite side of this wall so i can't wait and stay tuned all right guys so the food just came out and it looks absolutely delicious all right so this is the sandwich that i was referring to that shit looks absolutely amazing my wife's shipping grits that's gonna look good then we have a lot of pieces of that old catfish. And then these are the creamy grits. So how does that look? Looks very creamy to me. All right, so you know what we do. All right, so let's go ahead and get popping. I'm not gonna add anything yet. Hopefully I don't have to. So what do you think about the presentation so far? Well, it looks delicious without even just tasting it. It smells delicious. I'm excited to dig in. Okay. All right. I'm going to try the catfish first while she gets get busy with that. So try it by itself. Oh, yeah. I feel myself starting to dance a little bit. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, we're going in for the grits. Mm. Damn. Okay, okay, I get. Wow. That's good. You need to try this with this. Oh, sauce. I am. I am. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, that thing is hitting. All right, all right, milk and honey. I see what you just did there. I'm picking up what you're putting down. 
So I'm gonna go in and put a sausage because it looks really, really good. I don't have no water to clean my palate, but it's okay. So it's good? All right. So I'm going to try just the grits by itself. God damn. That shit hit. All right. All right, let me get the, let me get a sauce. Sauce. It's starting to look good. Okay, hold on. I need to, I need uh, uh, another taste test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Dang. That's really good. Oh yeah, I like that. Go ahead and try to fry. <laughs> The fries are good. Good. I can do it without. Nice um, and salted. Yeah. No ketchup needed. Okay. Here, try the um the catfish. Okay. And then try that one by itself. That smells good. It's good, right? And then mm -hmm. try it with the. Nice and airy. That's really good. Oh yeah. It's definitely fire. Oh no, no. Oh no, you good, bro. Yeah, that's really good. All right, okay. I, I want to taste the shrimp. I mean, the, yeah, the shrimp. Can you okay. cut that in half? Ooh, okay. Yeah, because I'm not eating the whole thing. <laughs> As a matter of fact, can you put a, can you cut that half into a half? <laughs> so pretty much a third. I need, I need a third. A third, okay. All right. Let's see what that thing. Let's see what it's talking about. I put a lot of sauce on there for you. I'm gonna dip it into this thing. Uh, uh, all right, we're good. That's good. I mean, okay. for, and I'm saying it's good based upon I don't even eat shrimp like eat that. Shrimp, right? So that's good. That says volumes. Try the shrimp. I don't need to cut mine. Just get on in there. I don't get to the sandwich. Gotta get to the money. Mm. It's pretty decent. Okay, okay. Try this sandwich real quick. This thing is huge. Massive. Damn. I mean, I got big hands, and you can see this thing is. Damn, it's. Huh? Okay, yeah. That's good. What's up? I just want to take a piece of the chicken. Got it, bro. Paris. Ooh. Oh, that's good. I wasn't expecting it to be like spicy and sweet. Well, it's the, um, what is it? Honey lemon pepper sauce, so. It's that little bit of that lemon pepper. It's a little heat to it though, with the lemon pepper and it's a little sweet. That's the honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not good. So, so far. Delicious. Which one you like the most? Oh, I love my dish. It has tomatoes, it has shrimp, it has sausage, the cream that they put over the grits. Yeah, I know that. I'm a little jealous right now, because that cream was hit. It's, it's cream. It's a stack off the whole meal. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You guys definitely need to come here. Throw a little hot sauce on this thing. 
I'm gonna make a priority. We gotta go. Hmm. We gotta visit where this is a staple. Oh, the Louisiana. We gotta go. Yeah, they say um, Louisiana got like some of the best seafood, period. Yeah. And I'm telling you, this on is hit. Oh, man. They got real hot sauce. Every bite, every bite is good. This is definitely worth the price point. And like I said, when you order the food, you can actually see them cooking in the back. I don't even need no tartar sauce. So what's your favorite so far? Um, I like they got them grits. These, right? Yeah, the grits with that sauce. With sauce. And then the sausage. Okay. I mean, and even the shrimp. You like the shrimp. Yeah, I wouldn't order it myself. Would though. you order no. this dish? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Based upon the shrimp. You would order this sans the shrimp. Oh yeah. If I didn't have if I could tell them to take the shrimp off, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. The catfish is banging too though. It is. But like knowing this now, I think I would get the sauce onto my grits. If that was possible. Yeah. But as you can see, like it's not overly buttery and crazy looking. It really just elevates the whole dish. That that damn sauce, man. I need to bottle that joint. Bottle it, sell it. This is it. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't that long of a wait either. Mm -hmm. Took about 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. But they got the music in the background so you can kind of lose track of time. Like I said, this location doesn't have adequate seating. Yeah, that's the only thing. It's like, it seats six at a bar. And there's this table here that seats four. Mm -hmm. So literally, that's it. There's no dining in here. It's literally cafe style. Kitchen. Get in, get Pick out. Get your food up and go. So I don't know if I would want to pick it up though and leave. Mm -hmm. You know, it might get cold or. But this is so good though. I gotta hit this. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, with grits, you gotta eat it fresh. You oh, yeah. can't let grits sit too long. No, you don't That's warm the up. Key to eating the grits is if it's a warm up well, you need to eat them when it's fresh. So. I would definitely recommend if you go to this restaurant, go to the sit down restaurant where you can actually enjoy your meal. Oh, this is good. Thank you. So, yeah. Let me tell you right now. This is getting a 10 out of 10. Oh, man, this is so good. Agree. And like I said, they open up eight to eight. They show up the seven days a week. For the seafood lovers. Very well seasoned, nice and plump, not overcooked. It's perfect. Is that grilled or or you think it's like? I think it's sauteed. The sauces are good. It's definitely good. So like I said, the restaurant, this particular location, there's no thrills, no frills. You get exactly what you came in to get, the food. And they have um, a steady amount of people coming in. Like, so from the time we sat down, there were about maybe... Been at least 20 some people. Two, well, there were two couples before us and one individual. When we sat down, it's been non-stop busy. So lunch, the lunch craze, is definitely on a pop. Yeah. It is busy. Yeah, people keep coming in. Yep. And like I said, I feel like <laughs> for the price point that you get exactly what you pay for. And uh, I'm satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man. This is so good. Mm -hmm. I might have to hit up hit up the owners. This is good. So is there anything that you could uh, think could be done better? I mean, anything, the establishment or? For the establishment seating, I mean, I, I feel like you're limited in this space. So don't come here thinking you're gonna find a seat, especially if it's during the lunch rush. Yeah. That's, that's a no hats like, you might be standing and trying to eat your food. So seating definitely is, you know, it's not gonna it's accommodate. Limited. It's not gonna accommodate anyone. Bars, parties. Um, so it's like you're lucky to find a seat. Most people are just usually uh, using the seats to wait for their meal and then they leave. Yep. So even if you're wanting to sit down and eat, it looks like most people are just kind of hanging out and then waiting for their food and then they're leaving the seats empty and then someone replaces it as they're waiting for their order. So, um, other than that, the decor is nice, the food speaks for itself, and, um, you know, obviously, like I said, we said there was no alcohol here served at this particular restaurant, but there are other restaurants, there are three other restaurants that serve it, so that's something that you expect with this brunch. You don't want to come to the specific location, but there are other locations that can accommodate that, so... It's all about, you know, researching where you go before you go. Oh, I already knew this place didn't have alcohol. Yeah, we knew. We were aware of that. But I was unaware about the CD, but... Right, right. But we did call. So I do know if you're in the DMV area and you're looking to go to uh, Fairfax, the Fairfax does have seating. When we called at the time, they had about 60 plus available, but we just decided to come here because it's a little closer, so... What would you say overall? Overall, I agree with everything you said. Only thing, I could, only thing I could possibly nitpick and complain about is the seating. But they do tell you on the website that there's limited seating. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know how limited. But um, we got here about three hours after they opened. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they definitely felt like it's the type of place that they serve brunch all day long. So it's definitely, if you're a brunch type of person, I feel like it's worth it. Pretty much damn near every meal is seafood. So if you're not a huge seafood eater, I think that may be a complaint. Um, Cause everything pretty much has seafood in it. But they have uh, other options like you we got see the, here. We got the chicken one, but I'm talking about, but most of it. It's salmon, it, it's shrimp. Seafood. It's catfish, yeah. Seafood. <laughs> so yeah. That's not your thing. But I think, even I could get down the shrimp and it was actually good and stuff like that. So, I mean, I could order the meal and I would just have to eat the shrimp with the other stuff. Like I wouldn't want, I wouldn't be able to just eat just the shrimp itself. Well, the good thing about this location is that you can order things a la carte. Yeah. So say if you don't want piece of the meal, like piecemeal yeah, the you meal, can piecemeal your own meal together, which makes it super convenient. If you're not, you know, too comfortable or you don't like some of the things that they serve as a whole dish. Oh. All right, this is, this is hitting. So, like I said, we both give it 10 out of 10. And, I mean, that's 10 out of 10 for the food. They got plenty of locations, so you can't complain about that. You don't have to drive too far in any one direction because it's actually is the DMV. Like it's in each each state and DC. So, um, oh, I will I will complain about one thing: the drinks. Oh, the because drinks. because yeah. it's a southern style restaurant or a soul food restaurant. I mean, I, we just have grown accustomed in our community to wanting, you know, sweet teas and. Uh, Arnold Palmer's or uh, whatever case may be. So there was none of that. Like I said, I don't know if that's all locations. Maybe this is this, this is location. I'm not sure. So that's something I would have to inquire about. But other than that, 
I mean, I'm cool with the, the, the fountain drink. Um, it is what it is. I mean, I got old regular ass Sprite, but it's cool. Cherry Coke. So, so, like I said, milk and honey, you all right with me in my book, all right? I'm definitely gonna spread the word and make sure everybody, you know, hit this location or just any of the locations in general. And I do want to go to one of the locations that actually serve the alcohol because I'm interested in some of the drinks that you guys have. Uh, they look super cool on the menu so, on the website. So all that will be in the description um, to the website and other stuff like that. So um, make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and leave a comment at the end of this video. Let me know what you think of the food. And if you're in the DMV area or just in general, just anywhere, um, drop some recommendations. I don't mind driving, try, uh, flying, boating, canoeing, kayaking, whatever, paragliding, whatever to that location. And um, like I said, I drop these videos every, um, this one right here is going to be part of my Black History Month uh, videos, which I usually drop either on Wednesday or Thursday, just depending on that. But I do drop regular content every Monday uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern, every, literally every single Monday. So that's 52 videos a year, giving you guys that straight heat, that content. All right, so anything else you want to say before we get out? No, I just wanted to say that like this is a cafe style, so if you're looking to dine, we already discussed, this is not the spot. But if you're just looking for some good quality food, this is it. You can't, like, everything was 10 out of 10. If I had to rate it, I would order any of these dishes when we come back again. So definitely recommend 10 out of 10. All right, guys. So you heard it from the lady. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.